Hello everyone, I hope you guys are well. Um, I'm making this video because I can no longer avoid bombarded messages from people from Facebook and my website, especially amateurs, watchmakers, you know, beginners who who about to you know about to service or did service Omega C Masters watches. Um, they they message me that they service Omega, they com complete the job and. When they're trying to set the time, it becomes really stiff, very stiff. And uh, obviously, when I mentioned C Master, I knew right away what the issue was because we've all been there, we've done it before. I'm going to show you that now. So, here's the center wheel. Take a good, take a good look at it, and you can see it's got a cannon pinning on it now. It looks like a one piece. It really is. That's why it fooled a lot of people. It's not a one piece actually. It's a two separate piece. Um, that's why they couldn't lubricate it. Because they think it's the one piece. That's how it ended up getting stiff. So before I show you how to remove the cannon pin from central central wheel pose correctly. The safe way. I'll show you what few, quite a few people done in the past that I saw. It's horrifying. They use a pulley like that and use the um, tweezers hold this the rim of the center wheel and pull it. Boy, that's crazy. Who do you think you're kidding to? That's the last thing you want to do because you're going to end up scratching it. You're going to end up breaking it. And bend it, and that will give a very poor performance in watch. You know, make it watch. That's the last thing you want to do. I came up with the correct safe method that I figured out years ago is get the old blade, sits on top of the uh, center wheel rim, and, uh, and then you get the pulley, cannon pinion pulley, that's what you call it, sits on here and here. So. I'm going to show you that now. That's the best and safe method to do so. So give a squee while you're pushing down. And that thing should lift. Without hurting the um, centre wheel rim. There you go. And that's done. Very simple. Now, obviously, when you serve as a watch, give a good clean, this and this as well. Give a very good clean. Then, obviously, you're gonna you have to lubricate it. I use Mobius D5. What is best for you? So D5 on that side, on that side. That should now solve the problem of the stiffness when you set the time. So you put it back in, like that, you should hear the click, oh I love this, then put it back in the, uh, obviously, back in the Omega movement, and that's it, that's how you do it guys, because it fooled a lot of people, they couldn't, they didn't, they didn't realise it, you know, so when you when you set the time, it's no longer no longer stiff. And uh, this is my customer's watch, by the way. And this this caliber is ten twelve. So it goes same for Omega Seamaster caliber one thousand one thousand one one thousand two one thousand two. 10, 10, 10, 11, 10, 12, which is this one, 10, 20, 10, 21, 10, 22, and then 10, 30, and 10, 35. I'm not saying I'm correct all these numbers of calibers, but don't quote on me. But so next time, if you're going to service Omega C Master, C Master. Just to be remindful, just to remember next time that you need to 
separate the account opinion from central wheel posts because it fooled a lot of people and because they missed that and then they were going to end up having a very stiff when you set the time and you're going to end up breaking all the little cods in here that's the last thing you want because these calibers are i mean the parts are getting hard to come by now and become more expensive and we do our best to um prevent that damage in the future anyway it's not the first time i've done this i mean shown a video i post pictures i made a comment about this it just seemed to be falling to deaf ears and, and forgotten so this is going to be my last video of showing this and that's it anyway thank you very much have a good day bye bye